All right, guys, welcome back. My name is Drew Tucker. I'm your Associate Director of Youth and Families here at Argyle United Methodist Church. And this week, I am coming back at you with another Kickstarter video for our youth group and for our families that are involved. So welcome back, guys. If you've been with us, we are right back in the middle of a series called Game of Thrones. And this is a series that we're doing um, that's based on personal reflection and personal humility, um, looking into our lives and saying, who is the Lord of our lives? Who is ruling over our day-to-day? -day? Um, where are our desires and our decision-making coming from? And so this week, if you're here on Wednesday, we talked about Jesus in the storm, or you're here on Sunday with Pastor Chris speaking, we talked about fear. So often, without us even realizing it, fear um, becomes something that takes control of our life. That's the deciding factor on the decisions that we're making, the places that we're going, the things that we're doing. We let fear um, control that decision-making process, and it's a powerful emotion. So I want to share a couple scriptures with you guys right off the bat, um, talking about fear, discussing fear. Um, so let's look real quick. We're going to go first to 1 John 4, um, verse 18. So let's read that. It says this, There is no fear in love. But perfect love drives out fear, because fear expects punishment. The person who is afraid has not been made perfect in love, right? So it says, there is no fear in love. In fact, perfect love drives out fear. Love drives out fear. Let's look at this next verse also. It's um, 1 Timothy, or yeah, 1 Timothy chapter 1, verse 7. It says this, Oh, no, 2 Timothy. I'm sorry, guys. Forgive me. 2 Timothy chapter 1, verse 7, and it says this, God didn't give us a spirit of fear, but one that is powerful, that is loving, and that is self-controlled. Right? It says specifically, God didn't give us a spirit of fear. In fact, a spirit of love and power and self-control. So, Sam, God, there's a big difference between living our life out of love, as Jesus calls us to, and living our life out of fear. And so many times, um, the things we do are controlled by fear. And I think one of the best ways um, to identify that, that, I identify that within myself, um, is looking at what are the things that I'm intentionally distracting myself from, that I'm running from in my life, that I'm hiding from. And see, so many times in our lives, I think um, we have things that we're afraid of. Maybe it's a doctor's appointment that we don't want to go to, that we don't want to know what's going to happen there. Maybe it's a, a date that we know is coming that we're dreading. Um, maybe it's someone that we don't want to see, that we don't want to get in that situation um, where we have to talk to them or interact with them. Or maybe it's a question that we have that, that we're afraid of what the answer to that question is. We don't want to look for the truth. And we don't want to know. Um, you see, there's so many things in life um, that we're afraid of, no matter what stage of life you're in. And I think the best way one of the best ways to find that is, what are you running from? When you think about it, um, you immediately try to find something else to fill your life in, with. I mean, there's just so many distractions that we have in today's life that we fill our time with um, to try to run from and hide um, and stay away from the things that we're afraid of, the situations that we're afraid of to get involved with. So we just distract ourselves. We go to something easy. We go to something fun. We go to something where we don't have to think about it. Um, and I think Jesus here is inviting us through the spirit of power that he gives us um, to walk into those situations with confidence. Even if we don't know what the outcome's going to be, um, even if we don't know exactly what's going to happen, he says, listen, in his promises that he will walk with us, that his spirit will be with us and upon us to walk with power with love and with self-discipline into those situations that we're afraid of and into, the, into those things um, that we're running from. And so I want to challenge you as a family, as an individual, to look back at your life. Just take a minute to, to think to yourself, what am I distracting myself from? Um, what am I running from? What am I hiding from? What situation in my life is paralyzed because I don't feel like I can address it? I don't feel like I can go into it. And I want us to, to think like 1 John chapter 4, verse 18 says, perfect love casts out fear. What does it look like 
for that victory of love to happen over the fears in our lives, over the situations that we're terrified um, of getting ourselves into? What does it look like um, to walk into those situations from a perspective of love rather than a perspective of fear? So that's my challenge for you guys this week, um, and we'll see you guys again soon. Thanks.